All right, it is a podcast about romance and fan fiction, and it's got quite an interesting name, too. Yeah, the ladies behind Femmes Reading Filth are here to tell us more about their <laughs> podcast and to test our knowledge of what they cover. Joining us now is Emily Marujan and Jessica Mull. Ladies, thanks for coming in and sharing your favorite topic, smut. Yeah. We're here to That's what you <laughs> said. I didn't say it. You said it. We're experts. We love to talk about it. Let us go. Okay. <laughs> All right. And here we go. And how do you land on talking? Okay, so when they first told me about this, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. like, what is fan fiction? So fan fiction is... It's kind of hard to explain, actually. I was trying to like come up with a yeah. short and sweet definition. <laughs> but it's basically people who are fans of something okay. that write their own work mm -hmm. based on that. So like the easiest way that I describe it to people is um, like Sherlock Holmes. Mm -hmm. If someone's really a big fan of Sherlock Holmes, they might go, oh, I want to write my own Sherlock Holmes mystery. Mm -hmm. And they'll do all of that because they're just fans of the world. And then in our modern times, they might then post it on the internet for other fans to enjoy. And and there's whole communities of people who just like to write things based on things that they're excited about. But what I didn't know is that Fifty Shades of Grey, which is quite popular, yeah. was based on fan fiction from Twilight. Yes. And you guys focus on that in an upcoming show that you've got coming. Yes. We are uh, going to be doing a live show on February 10th at 10 p.m. at Otherworld Theater. And it's in honor of the opening weekend of Twi Hard, the Twilight parody, parody musical. musical. Oh. And so we just thought the best way to, you know, honor that and get on the bandwagon is to talk about the most famous fan fiction, which is Fifty Shades of Grey. And, you know, we're going to have people from the musical come in and talk about it as well. And it's just going to be a really good time. And yeah. <laughs> trying to, like, see the comparisons and not really have them there. But we'll figure it out. Okay, okay so where does the smut part come in? You see, I'm stuck on the smut part, right? <laughs> In the fan fiction of it all? Uh, yeah. I mean, just like there are many different types of genres of normal books, if mm -hmm. you want to call them that, there are many different genres of fan fiction. And if you can kind of write whatever you want for free, it tends to get a little bit <laughs> <Yeah>. smutty. <Ooh. laughs> Do you feel like okay, smut is becoming more mainstream almost? Yeah. And I say this because I found out that I, I was at a dinner with a bunch of girls, and I live in the suburbs, and now I'm in a smut book club. And I'm like, I don't know how this happened and how I got into it. <laughs> and it's lovely. <laughs> it is awesome. Great. And yeah, but like, is it becoming more mainstream? Like, uh, yes, I think. I think probably also with the emergence of book talk, like TikTok. Book talk is a is a sub. I want to well, say man, I'm living yeah. in the city. I need to move out to the suburbs. Is this what you guys are really, doing? That's how we really came to the yeah. podcast is just the two of us talking about yeah. smut in ways that we, because it was during the pandemic and yeah. we were reading yeah. a lot and started or to bond over it. Even like, we, you know, at a party, we'd be in the corner and just going, did you read this book? And then we'd be like, <laughs> yes, and it, we did this chapter. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah. you know, our friends were kind of like, why don't you just talk about it more, like, you know, on an audio format? Yeah. And then okay. Femme's Reading and Folk was born. And it's been very similar to you where people have reached out to us through the podcast and gone, I didn't realize that there were other people that mm, yeah. read this stuff. So it's been <laughs> it's really nice, fun. It's a community. It's yeah. a very lovely community Ooh. that it's like your inner ner book nerd is coming out. <laughs> yeah. and a like, little something else, too. It's <laughs> like that. Just some exactly. fun. Just okay. some harmless smut fun. <laughs> so I heard you guys brought a game yeah, yes. so to ask us questions. I don't know how smutty we are. Yeah. <laughs> well, apparently okay. you are. You have a smut book. Club. I just we started. Easy. I'm one book in. We named this game. Talk wordy to me. Into it, love it. Thank you. <laughs> right. You should name all of our segments. We're happy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, so let's okay. hear it. Okay, so we want, I mean, most of these, we just want your very best guess. Okay. okay. So the first one, which Chicago-based TV show do you think has the most fan fiction written about oh. it? Mm. Chicago PD, Chicago Fire, or The Bear? I'm going to guess Chicago Fire, because they have some hot guys on yes, there. Yes, that's I a great guess. That yes. Part of the OK. Day. So Chicago PD, actually, oh. has almost 5,000 fanfics about it. Mm. And I looked it up, and the nice. oldest one was published in March of 2014. So there's almost a decade of Chicago yeah. PD fanfic out there. If you want to check birthday. it out. Yeah, I guess it is the Chicago oldest PD one. Fan. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Next one. Second question. Who is the most prolific romance author of all time? Is it A, Nora Roberts, B, Lorraine Heath, or C, Julia Quinn? I feel like I see Nora Roberts on all those books. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nora Roberts? Yes. Let's lock it in. It is Nora Roberts. Yeah. She has written Sarah. over 200 books. Oh, wow. Yes. wow. Yes. You, can't, you can't escape Nora Roberts. Yeah. She's so. never in airport, you'd ever be in. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, third question. Third question. Okay, so which of these is not 
a romance bookstore you can visit for all your romance needs. The Last Chapter Bookshop in Chicago, Love Sweet Arrow in Tinley Park, or Tropes and Trifles in Minneapolis. Should we go Ooh. with the Minneapolis Yeah, one? I guess so. We there. don't care about them, right? <laughs> this is let's a Chicago go. show. Yeah, let's go with Minneapolis. <laughs> So, they are all actually oh, oh, brick and mortar independent bookstores mm -hmm. that specialize in romance novels. Very so, cool. the last chapter bookstore is the one that I've been to, mm -hmm. but if you want to check them out, they're great places. Okay. Yeah, a little trick question. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stumped a little. Yeah. Okay, last question. Okay. Uh, what is currently the best selling romance book of all time? Is it A, yeah. Pride and Prejudice, mm -hmm. B, Fifty Shades of Grey, or C, A Court of Thorns and Roses? I'm gonna say Pride and Prejudice. Yeah. It's probably one of the oldest. Is that a romance book? I mean, it's like romance. It's like yeah. the first yeah. romance. Mr. Darcy. Yeah. Yeah. Angle and everything. Oh, oh yeah. In it, yeah. But. Okay, let's. It's, it's 1800s. Okay. Let's lock it in. Okay. Okay. So it, it used to be, and then it was edged out by Fifty Shades of Grey. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yes. The classic got edged out by Fifty Shades. Mm -hmm. I mean, that started yeah. out as a fan fiction book. Yeah. yeah. Real quickly, do you guys ever get in trouble with the original artists who wrote the uh, book, the no. authors, or? Or what have they're, you? They're, they're free. They're yeah. free for anyone to read on, on Archive of Our Own, which is the primary website that we use. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the, full, the whole thing with fan fiction is people are really writing them for fun. And so people aren't really doing it to make money. It's not like a published book. And so people are usually pretty open as long as we're shouting them out and directing our listeners to them, which okay. we do. Yeah. Um, and then sometimes there are the cases like Fifty Shades of Grey where some ambitious person really <laughs> likes a yeah. fanfic and decides, uh -huh. Okay, well, let's make it into a real book. Okay. <laughs> well, it worked for her. She's yeah, now the did. most popular yeah. Yeah. book oh, yeah. out there, romance novel out yeah, there. Yeah, she got rid of Jane Austen. Who, who else can say that? <laughs> That's unbelievable, man. All right, this is so fun. Emily and uh, Jessica, thank you so much for coming on and sharing this with us. Films Reading Filth. You can follow their podcast on Instagram and Facebook. And for tickets for their upcoming show, as you mentioned, at the Other World Theater, mm -hmm. head to humaneyeticks.com. Yep. Uh, yeah, or otherworldtheater.com. You can find it on there as well.